just wanted to jump on real quick and let you guys know that the dish that I'm bringing you tonight is just something that I threw together. I had no idea what I was going to cook for supper other than the fact that I knew I had some pork chop, I knew I had some hamburger, and I had some chicken wings in the refrigerator because that's what Kevin brought home from the grocery store. I uh, decided to cook the pork chops and I've got a dish that's finishing up now that I've already recorded um, how to uh, as I was coming up with things to prepare. So I hope you guys like the recipe and I hope you guys are having a great week and looking forward to a great weekend. Take care, enjoy the springtime weather. I hope you get out in your garden today and just soak up all that garden therapy. I hope to be in the garden again this coming weekend. So we'll see you in some future videos that I've been working on. So don't miss out, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and it just helps to motivate me to keep going and bringing you guys more recipes and more videos from the homestead. Take care and I'll see you soon. Tonight, I'm gonna cook these pork chops and kind of got a recipe in my head, but so far I've got some dehydrated zucchini and squash that I put up last year, some onions from our garden, some gluten-free cream of mushroom, salt and pepper. I'm not sure what else I'll add, but I'm just gonna play this up by ear as I go. I think we're gonna have some baked potatoes to go with this tonight. And we'll see how it turns out. Hey y'all, um, if y'all hear little chickadees making a little racket chirping in the background, I do apologize, but my little chickadees that I've had in the incubator are hatching and they are letting me know that they're they're here and they're ready to be loved on so i can't wait for all that um i'm getting ready right now to start this recipe i'm gonna make um pork chops tonight for supper and i'm gonna go ahead and add the salt and pepper on this side And I'm just going to sprinkle that on. This is just enough for Kevin and myself to eat tonight. So I'm going to take this and put it into a hot pan that's got some oil in it. This is a mixture of avocado and grapeseed oil. I normally lately have been using avocado only, but I'm almost out. So I added some grape seed. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper on this side. And now I'm gonna add some thyme. And that's thyme. <laughs> I wish I could give us more thyme. I think the older I get, the faster time's going by. And it only takes just a little bit of a sprinkle of that time. And I'm going to add some rosemary. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over.
add some more grapeseed oil. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Let that melt. I'm scraping this pan just to get all those little bits of pork chop. Next, I'm going to add these onions. I'm going to turn this heat up just a little. Get translucent. And while that's going on, I'm going to take this pork chop. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. Okay. These are done enough. I'm going to add some minced garlic. And once again, I'm going to turn this heat down. Let's get that stirred. I do not want that garlic to burn. At this point, I'm going to add this cream of mushroom, and this is gluten-free cream of mushroom. So it's not as thick as some of the other regular cream of mushroom, but it will give this a good flavor. And basically what I'm making now is just the sauce to put this pork chop in, kind of like a gravy. But it's better than a gravy because it's cream and mushroom. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some cream. And this is cream from my, from my goat milk. It is fresh. I've had this jar sitting for a couple of days. So all of that cream will rise to the top. And if I get some of the just plain milk, that's okay. So I want this to be very creamy. Okay. I'm just going to stir that. I think that's enough. Does not look good? I'm just going to put this pork in here. I'll get busy cutting the rest, the other one. No, I'm not going to waste that juice that's in that plate. I'm going to pour it in here.
wouldn't be me cooking if I didn't make a mess. There wasn't a mess left behind. I'm going to sprinkle a few of these uh, zucchini, dehydrated zucchini from last year in here just to kind of give it a healthy flair. in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to let this simmer. I think I'm going to add a little more milk. simmer and that pork will continue to cook and it will not lose any more of its moisture in that gravy. I will I do think I'm going to add a little more pepper. up on medium heat and I've got some green onion from the garden that I'm going to add. I'm going to wash it and add um, as a garnish. We are going to have a baked potato to go with this. Maybe a little bit of a salad. I'm not sure because we try not to eat too much with our evening meal, but I don't know. I can't help myself if I have a starch and there's starch here and meat. I just can't help it. I need more vegetables. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys will try this recipe and you can try your, your take on it. Whatever you have available, you know, if you have mushrooms, uh, I would add mushrooms. I did not have any mushrooms, so that's why I added the dehydrated zucchini. And, um, you know, just to give it a, a little character, basically. Of course, I love mushrooms. But, you know, if you don't like onions, you could just use the cream of mushroom and the pork. So, I do hope that you will try it, and I hope you like it. Thanks, guys. May God bless you all.